minute strategy. What is the one minute strategy for a start? It's um, basically a break and retest strategy fully on the one minute, one minute time frame. There's no higher time frame analysis. It's all on the one minute. Um, all you're looking for is a move up, move down, move up, move down into this level, a move up and then you enter and then it carries on going. That's pretty much what you look for. Um, all on the one minute, so no higher time frame. The strategy was made during the live stream, so it's not like I've um, learned this from anyone, taken it from anyone. I mean, there's probably someone out there that's trading it, but basically during the Friday live stream, uh, during London actually, we, or well, I was asking chat what they would like me to trade, um, either breakout, break and retest or reversal and yeah it was basically between breakout and break and retest i back tested the breakout one wasn't amazing so i then tested the break and retest one which was much better and then i've just developed that further so yeah it was created during a live stream the stats of it so far and this is this is back testing this is also forward testing 8.8 percent .8 per week on average on average so you are gonna have bad weeks i mean the the back testing shows anything from a zero to a 14 percent 13 percent week something like, i can't remember exactly what it was it's a hundred percent uh profitable so far in terms of week by week so we haven't actually had a losing week so far with the strategy and you basically trade it in two uh, two time windows you will trade it in london which is this one here which goes from 7 a.m uk time till 10 a.m uk time and then uh, new york as well which is 1 p.m until uh, 4 p.m. You're trading it in London, you're trading it in New York, and you can only take, so you see on the one minute, you can see this really clearly. You've basically got three sections in each. Okay, so this is one hour, this is one hour, this is one hour. You can take one trade in this, one trade in this, one trade in this, three trades total, three trades total, same here, one, 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 three trades. Okay, no trading here. No trading here, no trading here. Only in here, only in here. So, six trades max. That's, it's, a, it's a lot of trades, but six trades max per day. Uh, sure, let's say that's, just pretend that says max. So, six trades max per day. Typically, you're trading one to three trades per day. Okay, one to three. You're risking 1% per trade. Obviously, you can risk more if you want to risk more. And you do not manage the trade at all. Okay, so when you're in it, you're in it. <clears throat> There's no moving stops to break even. There's no scaling out, scaling in. Once you're in, you're in. Set your profit, set your target, set your stop loss, you're done. Okay, so that is that. Right, let's come down to the chart and I can show you an example uh, da, 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 da. okay so here's an example this was a trade taken well it's in the back testing anyway so all you're looking for you can see these green lines here you're in the one minute inside of the time frame now you can see this white line this is an EMA okay and it's not a normal EMA it's a 78 EMA 78 EMA is this white line. If you're above the white line, you're looking for longs. If you're below the white line, you're looking for shorts. Okay, pretty simple. So as you can see here, we're looking for longs. Therefore, I'm trying to be buying when price comes back to this level, this level, this level, this level, etc. Um, so as you can see, we are following price up and this 
pullback here, we are hoping that it comes to this level. Now when you mark the actual green lines on your chart, mark it from the bodies, not the wicks, okay? You will, will like 100%, you will get more trades if you mark it from the wicks. So you can do that, but your results are not going to be the same as mine, so you will need to test it. Now I'm saying that you will need to test this anyway, but I'm just throwing it out there, you will get more trades. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we didn't hit it, so no trade. As you can see here, from the body across, we come down and we don't touch it, no trade. Now, obviously, if you're looking at this in hindsight, both of these would have been winners if you took it from the wick. I don't care, right? Whatever. Um, you can do it from the wicks, as I just said, but I'm doing it from the bodies. That's just what I've always done. I've always traded with the bodies, not the wicks. So, yeah. So as you can see, we had a high here and we've projected that out. The reason why I haven't gone for any of these is because they're all kind of, um, what's a nice word here? They're all bad um, levels, bad highs, bad higher highs. This is a nice higher high. Okay, so this is where I'm going to mark it from. Now I draw that out and I sit and I wait for it to come back. I'm not entering here. I'm not entering here. I'm not entering here. I need to wait for it to come in, touch and close. It doesn't need to close on the zone. It just needs to touch it, close. And then we get a bullish candle on the next, um, next candle after the touch. Okay. <clears throat> so this is where you have to be fast. Okay. Now you have to be speedy. You're going to have to get your trade set up before you even fully 100% know that it's going to be a trade that you will take. Because when this thing opens, it can shoot up fast. So you're going to have to be ready, you know, as soon as maybe even a second before this candle closes or this candle closes, you're going to need to be entering this trade to then put your stop in and put your target and all that kind of stuff. So how are you actually setting out this trade? What you're doing is this candle, this is your entry candle, right? When this closes, that's your confirmation to enter. Then you're basically taking the high of this candle down to the low of the candle and then projecting that down, right? So you're projecting that down. Now I'll go into the reason why this wasn't that in a sec, but all you're doing is you're projecting this candle down, you're putting your stop at this level, and then all you're doing is projecting a 3 to 1 trade higher. Okay, there you go. So you're projecting the candle, or projecting the uh, trade higher. Um, and that's all you're doing. So, now I'll go into why this was smaller in a sec, but... Um, if we come back here, I'll show you a short trade. So this is in London. This is in New York. Okay, so same thing, right? We're looking for shorts because we're underneath the 78 EMA. We have a level here that I've marked out. We came up, we tagged in, but we didn't get a confirmation candle. So we do not enter. We came back down. We came up again. This is a new low. We project that out. We came down, we came back up, confirmation candle, project the um, candle higher, stop goes there, three to one entry. Okay. And as you can see, this is why I say leave the trade alone. Do not move your stops to break even. Because you get in, okay, you get in and you go more than halfway to your take profit. It comes back, perfectly hits you at break even and then goes all the way down. Okay, just leave the trade alone. Is it really that hard to just kind of put the trade in and leave it? So this is another valid entry, okay? If you missed this end, this setup here, if you missed this one, and what I can do actually is from high to low, high, low, and then you're entering here. And then we go bang, there's another entry here. So you draw that out, you would be entering here, you would project this candle on top of it, so your stops would have been pretty much in the same place. 
and then you would have been looking for a three to one trade down okay so that's it you've seen a long position you've seen a short position the um win rate of this strategy is 40 percent now it's really like 39 40 in between there but 40 percent is your um kind of standard right now there's going to be a lot of traders in here that are not going to be wanting to trade this because it's not a 90% win rate or it's not a it's not a 75-80% win rate if I were to show you the results and say with a 40% win rate you can make 8.5% per week on average risking 1% per trade would you trade it? most people would say yes the people that would say no are probably coming from Instagram and have no idea about trading anyway so um, yeah, whatever okay I'm getting a phone call I don't want to answer that because I'm streaming so um, they can phone me back uh, oh, what was saying right yeah so you're you're just looking for this it's pretty pretty simple it's not difficult um if you're in this trade and you get another setup you don't take it you're only allowed to be in one trade at a time um yeah only one trade at a time as you can see here <clears throat> entry here we've got the the level here we come up we close bang entry all the way down if you missed this entry you could have entered this one um but yeah you would have entered this one if you were paying attention and then you would have been uh not in this one but it doesn't really matter anyway here's a loser for you just to prove that it does lose um you've got the level here we project that out we come down you enter here and then yeah it loses but it's very 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 close to your take profit So, you know, I'm sure there's some people that would have taken profits early, but I can't really do anything about that. So, um, yeah. How, now, what can you trade this on? Probably should have said this to begin with, but you should only be trading this on GBP USD because that's what I've tested. Um, I know that works, therefore that's what I'm going to suggest you can test it on other things and see if that works if it does then trade it but for now I'm only going to say GBP USD um, how many trades per week so if you're taking between one and three trades per week no per day sorry you're taking between like five I mean 15 is a lot of trades obviously but I think that's fine really one um you know it's on a smaller time frame two you're not in the trades for very long and yeah it's okay as long as you're not taking more than three trades in a single session you should be okay do you reckon it's only different on the two minute or five minute chart it will be yeah it will be don't know whether it's going to be better or worse but you can test it and see i'm just trading it on the one minute because i like the one minute so here are some examples of the <clears throat> trading strategy so as you can see i've annotated it if you want to kind of look at it in more detail you can pause the video but um yeah here are some trades I mean there's obviously a lot more trades that I could have shown but these are some of the ones that you can kind of you can get the gist for it right
Share my back testing results. I think it'd be quite good to see. So um, if you have a look at the back testing, 104 trades, 39% win rate, and we have a 61.6% .6 return over seven weeks. Risking 1% per trade. As you can see, we don't have a losing week in here, which is nice. Um, we're very, very close to a losing week with these two weeks here, but you know, we're not, so that's good. Um, if we scroll up, you can see it's making around 25% a month. So if you're looking at doing FTMO, for example, I'm just saying, you could risk half a percent on FTMO and not a full 1% and still make um, enough to pass. So like 12.5% on average a month. Um, yeah, you could still do that. You could still do that. And if you have a very, very good um, week in terms of risking 1%, you could even pass it in one week. You could even pass it in one week. I mean, if we do the maths, yeah. So if you took six trades, a uh, six trades in a day, you lost sixty percent of those. You would still be kind of um, profitable by ten percent, I believe. My maths is probably wrong, but um, yeah, that's what the calculator told me. So twenty six percent. 23% after 72 trades, 32 trades. Um, really, really nice stuff. That's the equity curve for you as well. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. Um, and uh, yeah, looks pretty good to me. If you're definitely, if you're thinking of doing FTMO, this could be a nice little strategy to do it on. Um, so, you know, back test it, do your testing, whatever, but. Um, if you do take on FTMO, good luck, I guess.